Indiana received some much needed help in the backcourt today en route to a 98-65 win over Western Illinois in the season opener. In the exhibition game, no Al Durham and limited minutes of Rob Finnessy. Al Durham was back in full capacity today. Rob Finnessy joined in with a few extra minutes than he had in the exhibition game. Well, let's start with Al Durham. He was phenomenal today. 21 points for Al and he didn't miss a shot from the field. He was a little shocked post game when somebody told him that, but Archie Miller says it's all about having your leaders back on the floor, which will help this offense look a lot more smooth. Al's an important part to what we do. Again, he's an older player. He's a junior now, and uh, he's played a lot of minutes. Uh, he's a, a leader on our team. He did the same thing in the Marquette game. He ran our team, played with great tempo, um, smart. And again, tonight was able to make some shots. It was good to see Rob Finnessy get a few extra minutes today for Indiana. He had some minimal playing time in the exhibition game, went up to 17 and a half minutes today, which is what Archie Miller wanted to see from his point guard, who can really provide a spark for Indiana, both on the offensive event and the defensive event. I think Al being back in the lineup obviously helped, and then Rob being a part of what we're doing, you get a little bit more comfort level as a coach looking out there and seeing Rob and Al. Uh, we hadn't had that. I mean, it's really, in, in all reality, it's the first time the two guys have played together all year. They haven't been a part of a practice together, to be honest with you. So to have those two guys out there gives you a little bit more comfort level and confidence that your older, more experienced guys are playing. Justin Smith paced the Hoosiers with 24 points today on 11 of 17, shooting en route to the 33-point victory for the Hoosiers. They'll be back in action on Saturday as Indiana will host Portland State. For the Hoosier Network, I'm Austin Render.